I think we sat there, the two of us, like total crazy proud parents with yeah. tears in her eyes as we watched her. So the mirror of what we felt as real humans and then characters just kind of entwined a little bit. I am uh, super excited for the final season of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and I'm also devastated that this is the final season. How do you both feel now that we are kind of entering into this final chapter with the with the rest of the cast? Ah, oh, it's hard to let good. it go. It's not been a good. very, very, very significant and uh, and and uh, lovely experience, and it's it's hard to it's hard to say goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Marin, how do you feel about that? I feel I, I might even take that up it. Like, I feel like uh, so devastated. I, it's funny. I, I just uh, Her life she, is says, over, she says uh, with a laugh. Um, I I got out of my the apartment that I'm renting on the Upper West Side because I had to make sure I lived like Rose, so I rented places on Upper West to feel mm -hmm. like her. And I got out and took a walk and got some bagels this morning. Um, and I I basically started weeping. I was like, this is and it was a weeping because I knew that this was the the first day of the last week of the last season of this extraordinary experience. And I think, um, you know, it doesn't come, uh, this is so cliche, it doesn't come around very often to have a group of artists you work with or a crew that you work with that feels so much like family. We traveled around mm -hmm. essentially like the world. We did a lot of traveling for the show. But also the style of, of this writing um, is different than any kind of te television I'd ever worked on. I really felt like I was in a play and that's sort of my first love anyway. So I got to do a play for five years, which doesn't really happen very often because it had that kind of, the kind of intricacies of human nature, but also sort of the specific nature of structure of how to like let something not just be a natural response, but to have something that lifts into a different creative place. Mm -hmm. And um, I had never even let myself imagine that I could do a television show like this. So, uh, so in answer to your question, I feel pretty sad. <laughs> I'm sad too, but I I'm curious what those last days, those last moments on set were like for each of you. Was it surreal? Did it hit you then? Did it hit you when you were, you know, going it, home that night? It was mm. emotional. The last, uh, you know, the last episode certainly. But on the upside, mm -hmm. because we all knew going into it that it was our last season, mm -hmm. you know, we were savoring every every scene, every moment, every day, we, we held precious and, and, and we just were kind of just allowing ourselves to feel immersed in it. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and so that, was, that, was, that felt good. And it, 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 you know, we, we sort of like um, had a, even a greater appreciation for where we were, who we were, who we were with, and what that, this material was that we got to uh, work on. Yeah, and you know, the mirror of watching Rachel grow from this 26-year-old woman who, whose career was already in a great place, but like certainly this show has altered yeah. that landscape, but she, sure. our fearless leader, and really like no other leader I've worked with, she's just like, um, but we as her parents, watching what we got to watch at the end and do this you know i hadn't been privy he had his character had gotten to watch them stand up uh, hers mm -hmm. um i hadn't been able to do that i could when i watched the show as well yeah. but, but no, oh actually that's not true rose had watched no, a little Miami, something but you were drunk yeah yeah i was drunk yeah. so i can't remember she it can't remember <laughs> it right and then I watched his other moment too, but I guess I was drunk then too. Much like today. <laughs> That's exactly right. right. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. But anyway, I, I think we sat there, the two of us, like total crazy proud parents with tears yeah. in her eyes as we watched her. So the mirror of what we felt as real humans and then characters just kind of entwined a little bit. Well, I know you can't tell us obviously how the show ends. We've all got to go on that journey together. But I'm curious if you think fans are going to be satisfied with the ending or, or in what way you think they'll be satisfied with this story wrapping up. I, I think they're going to be, yeah, very, very happy and feel very gratified. And they're also going to be super impressed that somehow, miraculously, our showrunners uh, and the creative team 
outdid themselves in season five, which didn't seem possible after the first four seasons. So yeah, I think I think people are going to feel that it's ended in a really, in a really in the right way, in a in a good way, but in a somewhat unexpected way. Oh, unexpected! Interesting. Can you tell us a little bit about maybe that, or is it, no. is it too much? I yeah, wish, no. yeah, yeah. We're not allowed. I but wish I could. you know, someone I was speaking to that had seen the whole. You have not, I take it, seen. No, all no, it. just just the first couple episodes. Okay, mm-hmm. so someone I spoke to, so I'm not going to give much away, said that they're huge Amy and Dan fans, like we are, and they expected no less from them as to have something get so grounded in the end like it isn't just something that's like tied up and this is little magical realistic like you know oh this is like a pretty picture in the end it isn't like that it has Mm -hmm. a kind of quality of like and we go on and this Mm. is something that touches you in a very truthful complicated way Mm -hmm. so i i do love that they did that with the show that's what i that's what i can offer you that's wonderful to hear and it's such a special show i know people are really devastated when it was announced that this was going to be the final season what do you think it is about this show about this story about your characters that have brought people in and really touched them so so tremendously wow so many things um i i think it's a it's a, a a period that uh, people you know love to have, like to kind of revisit or or get a, if they're young enough, uh, get a first peek into. Uh, so well executed in that realm. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a story about a bunch of fighters, a bunch of survivors. Um, it's a story about a woman who, you know, really comes into her own, finds her voice is an advocate for herself and uh, has this sort of unstoppable, indefatigable, you know, core. And um, I, and, and in, the, in this character of, of Midge, played so brilliantly uh, by Rachel, it, you know, she's just someone that you're rooting for, mm-hmm. someone that you just, you wanna, you wanna follow that story and then of course there's the beautiful friendship between and working relationship between midge and susie uh which is complex Mm -hmm. and and um you know fraught with all kinds of (laughs) difficulty and 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 conflict but 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 at at the heart of it is a real love story too Mm -hmm. so there's just there's just a lot to love in this in this piece I haven't been part of a show in which so many uh, um, people have some very different reasons that they connect to the show. Right. Do you know what I mean? It's right. like some people watch it and they say, oh, my God, I just love all the family. And then they just love all the family stuff. And then some people say, like, God, that relationship between the two women, that's sort of like mm-hmm. a love affair of sorts. And and some people say, like, they're so into, like, the aesthetics of it and what you were saying about sort of the time period and the visuals and the music. And so I, I do think Amy and Dan are amazing at... Um, incorporating so many different yes. levels of expertise. And so it isn't, not, not to take away from other shows, mm-hmm. but ours has a kind of grandeur in the middle of this like wonderful, joyful piece. It has a yeah. lot of joy in it. Absolutely. At a time during COVID when, you know, pre-COVID, mm-hmm. you know, was one life, but then COVID and post-COVID, we've all needed a kind of relief with yeah. our what we've been able to watch. And there aren't that many things that provide that kind of levity. And ours does, I think. Absolutely. Well, I am so, so sad to see this come to an end, but I'm also so grateful to have been on the journey with you both. And I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me today. Thanks for talking to us.